Let's take a look at our quote for the day. This one is by Dr. Steve Maraboli, and it says, The universe doesn't give you what you ask for with your thoughts. It gives you what you demand with your actions. I'll read that again. The universe doesn't give you what you ask for with your thoughts. It gives you what you demand with your actions. Hmm. All right. Well then, let's meet our next guest. His name is George Simiu, and uh, this here is his book. It's called Dream, Dare, Do. And this is going to be the subject of our discussion here over the next few uh, minutes um, as we set your Monday right. So, Karibu Sana to the show. Wow, thank you so much, Joyce. You're welcome. And yeah. maybe you can just tell us very briefly about yourself and uh, how you then uh, got into authoring this book. Amazing. Thank you so much. Um, my name is George Smeo. I'm an author and a HR consultant. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, I love God. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about uh, getting to write this book. What inspired it? Well, what inspired me is about life. Like, um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a speaker, motivational speaker. And so, uh, in quite a number of forums, I could go there, I speak to people, and then you hear most of the people are stuck at um, doing what they dream about. Okay. And so I had to sit myself and put these thoughts together and then say, what should they do? Okay. And they only need to dream, they and do. Because okay. like what you've said in your quote is that um, the only difference between um, the thoughts and those uh, results that people want is action. Yeah. And so most people are stuck at acting. Mm -hmm. That's why we say dare and do. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. And is this your first book? Uh, no. This is my fourth book. Oh, okay. Sure. What are some of your other titles? Yeah, Believe, Begin, Become. It's uh -huh. one of my title. Um, From Resolution to Execution okay. is another title. Okay. Um, Job Seeking Skills Okay. It's another title. All right. Sure. And uh, at the end, he'll be letting us know how we can get a hold of his books. Uh, you'll be sharing that information with Definitely. us. Um, but uh, before then, you know, every time, of course, you, when someone writes a book like this one, you have to ask them, you have you dreamt, have you done, have you dared, have you done? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your own application of this book title in your own life. And, um, you know, does this really work? Yeah, dreams work if we also take action. I think by even the fact you having this book in your hands, mm -hmm. it is something I've dreamed and I've done. Mm -hmm. And so this means that life is real mm -hmm. when we take action. Okay. Well, in life, I've also had um, dreamt of doing quite a number of things. Mm -hmm. But I discovered I have to be daring enough to do it. Okay. Because there are quite a number of things that will stop me or any other person from doing what they want. So I can say for me, this is very real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's talking about what I've done. He's talking about um, perhaps somebody who also um, wishes to do something. Yeah. And what they are should they should be doing. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Well, I want us to jump uh, into the book. There's some very interesting chapters in here, and uh, I want us to begin with the one that uh, you've titled here, the comfort zone syndrome. Please explain that one to us, because I think a lot of people actually suffer from that. Yeah. Big time. People are stuck in the comfort zone. Mm -hmm. um, you'll notice that people want to um, do or achieve a few things, but the zone is something that is stopping them from um, moving forward. Okay. And so um, we really have to push ourselves beyond that comfort zone. Okay. Um, what is the comfort zone? Let's maybe begin there. W what sort of characterizes the comfort zone? I see you have a, a chart here. Yes. yes. And um, do you want to go ahead and say it or should I read it out? You can. Okay. So here in the comfort zone, you have being like everyone else, procrastination, mm -hmm. insecure, familiarity, playing it safe, settling for less, and then you have surviving not living as part of this comfort zone. Yeah. Um, um, I think we can just summarize it because it has a lot to talk about the comfort zone. Um, most importantly, for somebody to know that they're in comfort zone, I think most of the people you realize they are not able to tell whether they're in this zone or not. Mm -hmm. So um, some of the things highlighted that you've just read, there are some of the things that um, indicate us to tell us that, well, we need to shake yourself up and move. Okay. As we all know, um, nothing grows in the comfort zone. Okay. So if you find yourself in this kind of a state, 
then you really have to think twice and say, okay, okay. I actually need to move forward. Okay. Yeah. So y th th there's nothing you can really achieve when you want to be in this zone. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And getting out of it, you know, of course, it's scary because after the comfort zone, you have the fear zone. After the fear zone is the learning zone. And yeah. then eventually you get to the growth zone. Very true. Right. Very so true. you're saying Very people true. have become complacent with little achievements. And yet within us is untapped potential. That's and you, you're challenging people here to choose growth over comfort, to mm -hmm. be courageous and to be daring. Um, because if you decide to stay in that zone, you will never know what it's like to be a winner. Yeah, that is true. Mm. That's true. We truly have to push ourselves. Uh, like what I mentioned is that um, sometimes you can never know what is beyond until you are there. Okay. Yes, yeah, sure. But luckily, people will always tell you where you are today, you need to really push yourself to uh, be on this zone so that you're able to really experience life. At what point should one really be challenging themselves about this comfort zone, right? You yeah. know, so are we talking about <coughs> university students or is there a point where you are just supposed to be in that space and take comfort knowing that this is where I'm supposed to be right now and learning what I'm supposed to be doing you know right now because uh -huh. there are those who also feel man I've I've missed so many opportunities or I've wasted so many other chances that I had uh -huh. and they worry that now it's too late is that true um well sometimes it it happens so but um let me bring it this way um sometime um when you realize you're getting the same results at that level that's a comfort zone okay yeah because you realize um some people get like um um Settled with that, which is not okay. Like mm -hmm. somewhere I mentioned about this potential in everyone. So the comfort zone has limited our potential in a way. Mm -hmm. Because people want to be there thinking this is a much they can achieve. Mm -hmm. They are very comfortable. They don't want to try beyond that and things like that. Mm -hmm. And so importantly is for you to understand that one, if, if you begin to get the result that you've been getting, then you really have to shake yourself up and see, okay, what can I do extra on this? Okay. And things of the sort. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's move on to another thing here in your book here. You also talk about that greatness is actually by choice and not by chance. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell me about that. We choose to become great. Like somebody would put it this way. Um, if you're, not, you're born poor, that's not your problem. But if you die poor, that's your problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so some people find themselves in some conditions and they choose to remain there. Mm. Yeah. So um, sometimes we have to choose to be great. Like somebody again would put it this way, that you did not choose your bad place. Right. Um, you did not choose your name sometime. But you can choose what you do with your life at the moment now mm -hmm. because now you're a person of age and things like that. Mm -hmm. So greatness does not just happen by accident. We choose to become. And when you choose to become, you have to do what is needful for you to achieve it. Okay. So um, what I just talked about in that chapter is you really have to really choose to be great mm -hmm. and, and now for you to do that there are quite a number of things that you have to do yeah how does one choose to be great there are quite a number of things that can give us indicators on what towards greatness yeah okay so those are some of the things like okay wh wh whom do you want to become you get it that is greatness in your area so um perhaps that one will open up to you what do you want in this area mm -hmm. yeah and in every other discipline in this world there's always something or someone or some lessons to learn from, some things to pick out from. Okay. So you choose to follow the foot um, steps or the instructions and things like that for you to become great. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I think we're going to take a break at this point. And uh, when we come back, we'll continue with this discussion here briefly. Remember, triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. I'll be back after this. guys welcome back to full circle with joyce i'm here with my guest his name is george simiu and he's the author of this book here uh, dream dare do and uh, this is what we're discussing in this segment here today as we set your monday right just before the break uh we were talking about um the fact that 
greatness is actually a choice it, it's and not just you know a chance or you know luck yeah. for all of you people out there <laughs> and <laughs> all of you guys out there who like uh, diminishing people's success to luck and whatnot <laughs> People work hard for what they do. So, sure. you know, give people credit as it is due. But there's a quote here by Max, John Maxwell that I like, and I want us to quote, which says, when you change your thinking, you change your beliefs. When you change your beliefs, you change your expectations. When you change your expectations, you change your attitude. When you change your attitude, you change your behavior. And when you change your behavior, you change your performance. And when your performance changes, that's when you change your life. And a great quote there indeed. And hopefully that's um, helping to spur a lot of you to really get into action, you know, this Monday morning. What is it that you're dreaming about? Have you taken the step to actually dare, you know, and go for it um, is the big question that we're asking you today. Remember, triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. Um, you can also comment on Facebook at Switch TV Kenya. Uh, on Instagram as well, at Switch TV KE, and we'll be happy to take your questions, your feedback, and your comments. But uh, diving back into our discussion here, um, let's talk about this idea of daring, right? Not all of us, you know, are born with a lot of adventure. Many of us are actually quite risk averse. Sure. Um, but indeed, there's an element that unless you actually jump, you will never fly. Very true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we need to be, in anything you want to do, there's all that fear, you know. And that's perhaps, that's why the, the first chapter of this book I talk about, um, go for it. Yeah, what is it that you want in this life? Go for it. Mm -hmm. You need to be daring enough to go for it. Mm -hmm. Because the more you hold back, perhaps somebody somewhere is still already working on that idea. Mm -hmm. um, to be daring, number one, is um, um, have to overcome your fear. Mm -hmm. And let me say something, the only medicine to overcome fear is action. Mm. You can read everything in theory here and there. You can go to classes. You can do everything. But unless you take action, fear will always be with you. Mm -hmm. So um, the only medicine to it is action. When you act, now you begin to gain that confidence that things like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So people should go for what they want. Is yeah. it business? Is it whatever it is that um, makes you merry in this life? Yeah. Go for it. But there's also a caveat to this, or at least shouldn't there be, yeah. that you you make calculated risks. Very true. Because it's not just about saying that you're going to dare and do anything, but you yeah, not actually plan <laughs> for it. Because I think a lot of people can also misuse that statement. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Very true. Um, um, like you talk about um, people who are doing about investment and all that. In anything, again, if you want to invest there, your, um, your money, your resources and all that, you have to calculate, uh -huh. know the risk, uh -huh. then um, get into it. But again, we have to mention this, that um, sometimes they have the risk, attracts better results. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some That's people will, will really want to hold back because this, this thing look a bit more scary. Mm -hmm. But realize sometime when you try it out, it be, becomes so blissful and you're wondering, oh, yeah. this is amazing. Yeah. There are those though who life has dealt them a really hard card and um, they have quite some number of obstacles to rise over. Yeah. But uh, it seems that there are people, though, there are plenty of examples of those who've been able to rise up against the odds. Sure. What do you think it takes to actually be able to do that? Um, one is courage and confidence. But before that, allow me just again mention these is that um, in this life, in whatever you want to do, challenges will always be with us, whether we like it or not. In any discipline, challenges will be there. But now what is important is how do we manage these challenges? Yeah. We have those people who face those challenges and they um, um, retrieve and go back. And with us, those who will face them and they became, uh, rather become like an ant, um, either go around it, go over it, or things like that. So uh, challenges are there, but number one is um, don't give up when you miss them because in anything you're going to do, expect them. Because they'll make you stronger, they'll make you think, they'll make you more wiser, and things like that. Okay. So chances are there. But now, um, um, how do we maneuver around that? Number one is um, be informed. That's very important. You can always make better decisions when you're more informed. Okay. About anything you want to do, seek more information. Go into research. I want to do this. What do I need to know? So some people will face those challenges and um, stop wherever they were because they, were not, they didn't have information. Mm -hmm. 
So um, just remember our viewers that one, uh, the more you get informed, the more you make better decisions at a time when you may, um, face these challenges. Okay. Yeah. And there's a challenge I think we should throw out to the young people watching this show today, which is what you talk about here in that chapter, that growth is actually painful. Yeah, very. But I think a lot of us don't want that. We obviously don't want to experience pain. Uh -huh. We kind of want this very smooth mm -hmm, journey, mm -hmm. you know. There's almost a sense of entitlement, really. Yeah. Um, so when we talk about growth being painful, <coughs> or you talk about growth being painful in your book, what exactly are you referring to? And that, is that the only way to actually grow? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mostly you realize that... Um, Anytime growth um, begins to stretch us, like mm -hmm. we are human beings, mm -hmm. um, and the pain can come in different ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one it could touch on your finance, on your spiritual life, and things like that. Depending on the dimension, you want to look at it. But let's just look at it this way: growth is painful. Anytime you are stretched beyond your comfort zone, sometimes you want to go back. Look at these those people who go for um, fitness; mm -hmm. they go to train. You realize the time when your muscle is stretching; that's when you're growing. Mm -hmm. That's when you're becoming to be better. And that is it. Okay. Anytime you quit and say, I'm not going back because yesterday I felt some pain, definitely not grow. Hmm. Yeah. So as we get ready to wrap up here, how can one then find the confidence to, to dream again, especially for someone who's tried and failed, uh -huh. or to even dare? Maybe last time, it's not that they didn't try, but they just didn't reach far enough. They didn't jump high enough. How do people actually find that confidence to dream, to dare, and to do? Um, one is to try to really overcome your fears. And like what I mentioned to you, the only way to conquer fear is to face it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's something you've always wanted to do, and you can only do it when you're in action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's one way. Then number two is you also need to keep on um, um, appreciating the steps you're taking. You know, you cannot just start today and you're so good or an expert in that area. No. You realize you keep on doing every day and then accept and appreciate the progress you're making. You realize um, one time come, you're really so confident about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's a whole process, actually. Sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, thank you very much for coming on to the show, George, and uh, sharing um, your book with us here today. Again, it's called Dream, Dare, Do. How can people get a hold of this? Well, um, it's, um, they may contact me um, on social media. Um, on Twitter, um, I use the hashtag I am George Smeal. Okay. On Facebook, I'm um, just using the same name, okay. George Smeal. Mm -hmm. um, on LinkedIn, the same name. Uh, so you can just check it out. Then my people will get back to you okay. and ensure that you are able to get the book. All right. Yeah. How much does it go for? It's going at uh, a thousand shillings. All moment. right. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you very much for coming on to the show. You're welcome. And uh, helping us to, you know, get our Monday morning started. Amazing. Uh, what dreams do you guys have? I hope you're going to dare uh, to forge for them and actually do them as well.